We don't like to admit it, but most of us have told little white lies at some times in our lives. Are lies justified? In what situations can a fib be told? And is it a good thing to do? Should we always be honest, no matter what? Stay with us as we answer these questions on tonight's Delore Factor Live. The views expressed in this program are those of the host and guest, and in no way represent those of DBS, and are not intended to determine decision-making processes. The Law Factor Live is produced by Delia Dola Productions and Consultancy and sponsored by Paradise Water, Carib Cable, EC Global Insurance, Cots St. Lucia, Infinity Color Shop, Ferrens Dairy, Star Publishing, Transit TV, Sea Island Cotton Shop, Chat House Restaurant, Rodney Bay Medical Center. Welcome to Delore Factor Live. I'm Delia Delore. I can imagine the smiles on your faces tonight because you know you're guilty of telling little white lies. Now, come on, admit it. I can also imagine some of you remembering occasions where you had to tell stories that weren't exactly accurate, but for whatever reason, you've had to be selective about telling the truth. Now, come on, own up. Our guests tonight have no problems owning up to the fabrications of the truth, and that's one of the reasons that they're here. I'd like to welcome Van Dyke Jude and Jamina Hippolyte to Delore Factor Live. Welcome. Welcome. Now, I heard the little snigger, <laughs> <laughs> the little laugh, but I think that it takes a, a very confident person to be a guest on a program like this because a lot of people don't like to admit that they tell whatever it is, a fair little white lie, whatever it is you want to, to call it. And I'm not saying that you two are going to admit to it, but at least you're going to be helping us to discuss some of the reasons why sometimes people do it and they may feel that it's justified to do it, and other times you just do it to just get away from <laughs> things. So thank you so much for both of you for being here. Now, it's the first time on the Law Factor live set uh, for you both. I hope that you're both very comfortable and ready to give the program a go tonight. Right. I'll try. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. let's just uh, start off with maybe just a little about yourself. So, Jamina, uh, tell the audience something about you, please. Okay. I manage a radio station. It is actually the only community radio station in St. Lucia, and it is managed under the umbrella of the Sufa Regional oh. Development Foundation. And I work for them. And we're actually, what the radio station does is to empower persons with information. And that is what a community radio station is. And you've left out the most important thing, <laughs> name and frequency. 88.5 <laughs> FM. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm, I'm really glad that it's still going on because I remember in the early days, it must have been, what's about two years old, something yeah, like this? It and just in three, actually. Three, yeah, two and a half years. Yes, yes because I, I remember actually going down there when you first started. and right. It was very impressive. I really like it. And okay. What a location. You should visit sometime. We're I will definitely. <laughs> what a location well, you're we're at. We're at Surface Rings, where we've been the world's only driving volcano. <laughs> wow, that is so unique. Right. That is so unique and wonderful. Yes. But thank you for being here. Welcome. Glad to be here. Good. Van Dyke, tell us about you. Well, I am a, I'm a UK barrister by trading. I was actually born and raised in uh, London, and I came to St. Lucia at 15. I stayed here until I was uh, 20, about 19, 20 years old, and I went back to London. Um, I worked a bit, traveled a bit. Uh, then I went to I went to law school, um, scraped through law school, um, and then I did a I, I did a master's in business law, um, and then I worked in the UK for a while as a barrister. I tried the stint here in 1986 for a few months, and then I um, then I emigrated to California, mm -hmm. and I currently live and practice law in California. Wow, yeah. but you, you admitted that, you've, you, that you actually come from a, a family that a lot of us know, and yeah. I, I know that I grew up with that family. So when, yeah. I, when I first met you, it was just a, a pleasant yeah. surprise to know that I, I knew yeah. your family. Yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I first met you, it was mm -hmm. at my mother's home, Sheila Rambali, mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know that I would be deceived into coming <laughs> on a television <laughs> show. <laughs> well, because of your profession, yeah. right, I mean, right. how could I not ask you to come and sit there? Right, because, right. you know, I mean, yeah. let's just 
tell it like it is. A lot of people, they think that, you know, solicitors, they're, they're paid to lie, some of them. I mean, I always wonder, how can a solicitor, you know, represent someone if they don't believe that this person is, is uh, telling the truth? It's a question that lawyers have to field a lot. The first uh, point to make is that lawyers do not actually lie. At best, we, at best we, oh repeat God, yeah. we repeat lies. We repeat <laughs> lies because, <laughs> because we do not give evidence. True. I didn't right? think of that. That's, they repeat that's, the lie. Okay. That's, that's, so if our client comes to us and lies mm -hmm. and, and you feel clearly, look, you're not telling me the truth, mm -hmm. um, you're going to make the client look very silly and you're not going to look very good in court if you do not at least test the client's uh, version of events mm -hmm. and educate the client that you believe that their version of events is flawed because this doesn't make sense mm -hmm. or for whatever reason. And um, if the client insists that this is his position, you go to court, you're his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. So when you, uh, when you present the evidence in court, it's not my function to judge whether or not this man is telling the truth. Well, you know, we're going to go it, into that yeah. a bit deeper because <laughs> you're saying that it makes sense, but uh, I think a lot of you are going to think, oh, no, there's more to it than that. So I'll we're going to, we'll touch on that. We have to touch on that because there are, you know, those yeah. are areas where people perhaps are forced to tell the truth. Uh, and sometimes if they've had to tell several lies before they even get to tell the truth. And we're going to be talking about uh, situations like that and uh, who they harm when they do that. Now, of course, our, our guests had some Ferrens ice cream to start their evening. Uh, can you, do you know which flavor that you both had? Uh, I had coconut. Yes. And, and I had the same thing. Uh, yeah. what, was your, what was your views on the coconut from Ferrens? Very nice. Mm. Very nice. But I can tell <laughs> you a Ferrens. <laughs> yeah, I, I can just tell. Because she was like... Here's the ice cream, yay! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the new flavor. Yes, which not is make. not make. Oh, a lot yes. of people like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a lovely flavor. I like it. And what about you, Van Dyke? Well, I, I'm going to be economical with the truth mm -hmm. since I do not really eat. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Because <laughs> I do not really eat a lot of ice cream. Okay. Uh, the ice cream that I sampled from Ferrens mm. Dairy, if I was to like ice cream, yes. I would buy it and I would eat it. Okay, good. Yes. All right then. Well, thank you yes. for that. And uh, viewers, let me tell you, uh, you must have heard on the credits, we have a wonderful new sponsor. It's called Charthouse Restaurant. I'm sure you know where it is. It's uh, in Rodney Bay. And they are going to give away a really lovely gift. So you need to stay with us tonight. A lot of people want to go into uh, Charterhouse because you know what they're famous for ribs mm -hmm. and the steaks and so right. on okay so um i want to uh we always do our two in a row but i'm going to actually uh, do it afterwards simply because i want to tell you what the giveaways are now because i just feel like i need to do that later we're going to bring you a tip from infinity color shop but our giveaway tonight is, well, two of them actually, where is Chart House Restaurant and Bar located and what is the restaurant famous for? Where is Chart House Restaurant and Bar located and what is the restaurant famous for? Now, the winner will receive a voucher which is worth $150, which you can use for a meal and a drink, all right? So $150 voucher you can receive and the winner will be chosen next week. But please, please apply from tonight. Now, what do you need to do to get an opportunity to be at the Delore Factor Live birthday party? What do you need to do to get an opportunity to be at the Delore Factor Live birthday party? The winner will receive an opportunity to get an invite to the birthday party, which is next week at the Chart House restaurant and, bay and bar in Rodney Bay. So when we come back, we're gonna go into the juice of the subject tonight. So make sure you stay with DBS. See you soon.